Once the oil is hot, we put in the rice, the mustard seeds and we turn off the gas. And now we'll put in the curry leaves. And now we'll put in the green chilies chopped and the ginger that is grated. And now we'll put in the boiled potatoes that we've chopped up. And the gas is still off. And now we add the salt, red chili powder, the amchur powder, which is the dry mango powder, and then the dhania powder, the turmeric, the haldi, and now we'll mix it up. The gas is still off. We'll stir it first and then turn on the gas. Since the potatoes were boiled, we don't need to cook it for too long. Turn on the gas and continue stirring this amazing dry aloo ki sabzi, which is super yum to have with puris and rotis and parathas. And now we'll keep a lid on it for a bit and let it cook. And we'll just give it one stir and put the lid back on. In case you don't have amchur powder at home, you can always uh, substitute the sour feeling with uh, the sour flavor with uh, lemon. So let's put the lid back on and let it cook for a bit. Looks like our sabzi is almost ready. And we can transfer the sabzi into our serving bowl. And for the final touch, we would sprinkle some coriander on top. And our sabzi is ready. Enjoy!